Hello everyone, in this video we will have a look at this question. Non-productive activity that is excluded from the estimation of the value of gross domestic product is gross domestic product means the total value of products that are produced, right? The total value of products that are produced within a geographical boundary of an economy, right? Within the geographical boundary of an economy in a certain period of time. For example, if you take Sri Lanka, the GDP of Sri Lanka will include all the products that are produced, all the value that is created within the geographical boundaries of Sri Lanka, maybe within a year. So that's what GDP of Sri Lanka is. In this GDP now, any transaction that creates a value must be included, right? That's the idea. But the thing is, it's not possible to do that. Right? It's not possible to include all the transactions that are productive, that create a value in measurement of GDP, in estimation of GDP. Right? So, looking at these answers, you see here, all that are given in the answers are not included in estimation of GDP. Right? Not included in the GDP value because the first three answers given are productive activities they are productive activities but the thing is you can't give a value to them Unp unpaid a household work of a, uh, a housewife a mom cooking for their children right? a mom cooking for her children that you can't give a value so you can't add it in gdp studying and leisure that is productive but you can't give a value to that for leisure you can't give value when you spend quality time with your family friends there's no value for it that can be you know added to the gdp natural resources grown without human intervention fishes growing in the ocean mangoes growing in a forest there's no way to know how many mangoes are there how many fishes are there and there's no way to give a value because there's no human intervention if there's no human intervention then you can't add it to the measurement of you know value of gdp those are productive activities but not added in gdp but the question is about non-productive activity that is not added in GDP. Look at answer number four, transactions relating to second-hand products. Transactions, you know, whenever you buy a product or sell a product for the first time, that means you are creating value. When you buy a brand new car, that means you are buying a new car. That means there's a value that has been created, so you add it to the GDP measurement. But when that same car that you have already bought, you are selling it to someone else, now there's no new value that has been created by this transaction when you sell the car for the second time. So whenever you sell or buy something for the second time, that transaction of a second-hand good cannot be added to the GDP because there's no value that has been created. It's a non-productive activity. So the answer for this question is answer D because answer D talks about a non-productive activity and that the value of that transaction will not be added in GDP measurement because of it being non-productive. The rest of the three answers, the first three answers, they are productive, but since we can't we cannot we cannot properly give a value to those components that you see, right? We don't add it in GDP measurement, but they are productive. If we can add it to the GDP, if we can add those three to the GDP, the GDP value will be, you know, better. It will be more accurate. But unfortunately, we can't do that. So those are kind of, you know, drawbacks of the GDP measurement estimation system we already have. You learn all of that about in Chapter 5. See you all with another question in another video. Have a nice day.